Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a good new hope. So on this week's video, we'll be making a cover up. So it's just a garment that you can throw on top of it when wearing a dress or any type of garment. You just put it on top and go to whatever occasion you want to go. So let's get right into the video. So here I was putting my fabrics and the equipment that I'll be using for the video. So I ended up using about 2 meters of that Ankara fabric and then my patterns, pins, chalk, seam ripper, scissors, step measure and of course a machine to be able to stitch the garment. So at this point I laid my fabric on the flow again to be able to lay my patterns and do my cutting at the same time so I was just lining up my fabric to make sure it's straight so that I can be able to put the patterns together and cut them out so I later realized by um, folding it salvage to salvage I'll end up using a lot of fabric and all my patterns the front and the back were on fold so I decided to fold the way I'm doing so that I cannot end up using like a lot of fabric so I was just folding it together to make sure that it has aligned well and placing my patterns clearly see how my patterns look like but my pattern markings were not visible because I used a pencil so maybe when we do the next patterns I'll use like a darker pen so that you can be able to see my annotations on the pattern so I was my scissors my pins and my chalk so that I can be able to pin the fab the patterns sorry on the fabric uh, and we cut out so i later realized that some of my pins were blunt and it was a bit difficult for me to pin down so they ended up not poking the fabric so that they can like care on the upper part of the pattern so it was a bit difficult for me to pin but still we managed to pin everything down realized that my pattern was a bit short so my cover up will end up being short so I measured myself and um, decided where I want my cover up to reach so it was about um, like 35 inches yeah, approximately 35 or yeah, was it 35 no it was about 55 inches so I measured 55 centimeter from my shoulder point so that will determine the length of my cover-up so I measured the 55 on both the front pattern and the back pattern as well So I was 
was counter checking to ensure to ensure that um i had measured correctly the length of my cover up for the back and as well for the front but so i was pinning at the point where i had extended my cover up to be able to so that when i'm cutting um the fabric does not move so i was measuring the width of my cover up so that i can ensure that the width is the same from where my pattern ended to the part that i extended in the downer part so i was just measuring it so that i can join it together to the top part so i was just counter checking to make sure that i marked it correctly and join it now from where my pattern ended to the extended part so i was just joining it joining joining and joining so that it can form like a straight line and it can ease my cutting process so i did the same for the front pattern so that it can match as well and join the dots that i had made so i also pinned the strap part um so i was supposed to cut like four of them so where i laid it they ended up being two but later on i added two more straps for the side of the cover up so i grabbed my scissors and now we are ready to cut our fabric so those are my final patterns that i had cut and those are the only patterns so here we are heading to the machine so that we can start our sewing process does not move and i end up just stitching one part of the fabric other than both of them the side i double folded the fabric so that i can ensure uh, my seam will look neat and well finished so the first fold was about 0.5 and then the whole of the seam was about one centimeter so also remember to reinforce at the beginning and use a straight stitch all the way from the front to the back and also do the same same thing for the other side of the garment so in order to ease your work you can press it down with a hot iron and then so that it can be easier for you to stitch it all the way around instead of pausing folding it back again and continuing with the stitching process so you can just iron it to ease your work so since i didn't have a bias i had to create my own bias and it was about one inch so like i ironed it well to create like my own bias and i was actually pinning it on the neckline so that i can stitch it and have like a clean finish on my neck point so at this point i stitched around half an inch and ensuring that i've layered the bias together with the garment together so that i cannot end up stitching the bias on its own so i made sure that i aligned everything together and ironed it with a simple straight stitch and also don't 
or get reinforcing. So since my neckline was a bit rounded so I have to snip it so that it can lie well. So I made sure that I've snipped it all round so that I can finish well the bias on the wrong side. So we are snipping and snipping and snipping. So at this point I was turning the bias on the wrong side which is the inside part and pinning it so that I can be able to stitch on the top part. So I was actually stitching it on the right side. So I was pinning it to ensure while I'm stitching I will stitch everything together. So you have to pin to ensure everything is aligned well so that you can take it to your machine. So one thing that you should note is you make sure that the pins are not hit by the machine needle because the moment you hit the pin with the machine needle it will break. So you have to ensure before you reach where you placed your pin what, what I mean is before while stitching you ensure that you remove the pin slowly before you approach it with the machine needle as in you just make sure that you don't hit that needle that you had pinned on your garment with your machine needle to make things simpler and well understood that we can be able to work with the straps so you fold it into half and stitch at an exact seam allowance of one centimeter so the same allowance that you put on your pattern is the same same allowance that you will use to stitch with on your garment so make sure to notch all your seam allowance on the fabric while you are cutting out so that it can be easier for you to stitch well and identify the seam allowance that you had put on your patterns so i did the same same thing for the four straps that i cut out this point you have to turn those straps on the right side so that was the tricky part because my straps were so tiny so I had to look for something that will 
enable me to turn it in a simpler way so that they can look so i ended up using a pen to turn it so it was a bit simpler and i tried my best so that it can be able to turn on the right side and finally i managed so i did that for the three other straps and we did it guys we made it so at this point i was ironing my straps so that i can ensure they are flat and neat so i had already marked the point where i'll attach them so i was just touching them and pinning them so that while I'm stitching they don't move around so that I can just stitch so that I can stitch everything so fast without the strap moving moving around so you ensure you pin on both sides the front and the back side So when you're stitching it, you make sure that you stitch uh, like a like a square, like on both corners, so that it can be well attached and it won't be easier for it to come out. And make sure the most important thing that you should never ever ever forget is reinforce while you start and when you finish so you'll continue doing that for the rest of the three straps that will be remaining and that will be it for that part So at this point I was finishing my hem and my hem I put like a uh, 3 cm seam allowance so I just folded it twice to ensure that I had gotten the 3 cm that I had I added and finish up my hem line so you'll do that for the front as well as for the back side so here is it we finished and cut off the hanging thread but we forgot one thing to iron it so make sure when you're done with everything you iron everything so that it can look good so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe by hitting that red button down below so see you on my next video bye guys